to, to work on the, the racecraft again or at Phillip Island before I was capable of winning here again. Yeah. Vallelunga had the chance to do that but I was riding for, for a job in Vallelunga and I was really going for it. Was now with the championship in mind I was, I was careful on Phillip Island but that battle got me back uh, into race mode again and the show today I was, I was fighting. Yeah and when was your last win? I think it was Caldwell Park. No, actually it was my brother John Stag too on a go-kart. I think that was the last one. <laughs> was that last year? Yeah, then the last year. Right. I think the last official one must have been Cadwell Park. It was. was it go -kart is more satisfying? Or? It really was. It's nice to be back on top because it had been nearly two years since Cadwell. <laughs> okay, okay. And there seemed to be some pretty hard passes going on there. I mean, you yeah. into turn one were pretty spectacular. There was a couple of times when... Yeah, it didn't was, look possible, but you ended up coming out of it first. I was braking very hard. My front was so good, and Andrew's gap, even in the last lap, he gapped me. My gearing wasn't as good in some of the corners, like the second to last corner, and he gapped me. And on the brakes, I got right back all over him again, ran wide, and was able to get the drive on. Yep. The front end was so good. And uh, ended the first corner once when Keenan was was just sitting behind Andrew. I seen a little gap, so I gave yeah. a little spurt and went through him, so that was a nice move. But all in all, another fantastic race. It's hard to believe, too races like that to begin the season I can't be having any more of those yeah, yeah, not yeah. good for, for the family back home <laughs> <laughs> I think you got, they have to get used to it yeah. <laughs> and also you, you mentioned the speed of the bike but it, it also seemed quite key you were getting out of the last corner very very well yeah, because that, you were gapping people when people were behind you you seemed to be gapping them quite early on on the straight as well it was to be fair when Andrew said the same when you were behind you were all over the guy in front because you had a good gauge the front was moving a lot in the heat and as Carl said, the lap times weren't as quick as we thought, and that was quite a bit to do with it. So when you had somebody behind you, you could really just break into them, run wide, and get the drive on so much earlier, drive towards them. So right, I was okay. I was barely even using Andrew's slipstream. I was driving for a little bit and coming alongside him as soon as I come wow, on the straight. Okay. And where Andrew and Keenan were able to pass me into the fast right, just coming around yeah, that left yeah, king. Yeah. We were clicking fourth and then clicking fifth gear as soon as the bike was coming upright and the revs were just dying, and Andrew's bike was still pulling. He could see that, so he made right, the most okay. of it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you.